Father, in the name of Jesus, my son shall not die. I shall not suffer loss. Affliction shall not rise up again. I shall not be bereaved again. In the name of Jesus, the number of days of my son, he shall fulfill. In the name of Jesus, I shall not suffer loss. In the name of Jesus, the number of the days of my son, he shall fulfill. In Jesus' name, in the name of Jesus, I shall not suffer loss. In the name of Jesus, I shall not suffer loss. Stop, mom. Ah, you again? Why did you do that? Why should you interrupt me in the midst of my prayers? Because your prayers were futile. Why? Oh, you have arrogated to self the place of God. Who knows which prayer that will be answered and the one that will not be answered? Don't allow your experience. Destroy your testimony. What is wrong with prayer? You were not praying. Eh? What was I doing? You were actually treading the devil's territory. God forbid. I'm serious, mom. Stop! When fear is in the heart, prayer becomes a game of losers. Losers? Who is a loser? Me? No. Mom, faith is the victory. Boy, you are making me feel like a pagan. No! I am trying to provoke you to lay hold on the believer's mightiest weapon. Listen to me. My partner uncle told me to my face that I will not get married as long as he's alive. I got married. And the same year, that same year, he died. They called me barren. And some even branded me a hollow drum. But by the power in the name of Jesus, I conceived. And I gave birth to you. You've told me that story before, Mom. Then what are we talking about? That was then. As of this moment, your faith is shaking. That was why I insisted to see the pastor. But you cajoled me out of it. Now that I'm praying, you are trying to talk me out of it again. What do you want do me nothing. to do? What? Just watch and see. On the cross, on the cross.